Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm in Vengen this evening. This is a village up in Switzerland and I'm at the railway station. Here's the railway station, the Rack and Pinion Railway. That train's going to go down the hill to Lauterbrunnen and the railway continues right up there to Kleiner Scheidig. Oh, and there is a train coming in. This video isn't actually about trains, believe it or not, but let's just watch this train come in. If you ever travel in these trains, those panoramic cars are quite good, yet if you're in one of these end cars, you can put the window down and put your head out the window, which is also good fun. So here we are in Vengen, and we've got a rack railway that goes right up there, up to the mountains, which are just out of camera. There's snow-capped mountains in the distance. What are we doing here? Well, we've actually come here to play with marbles. These, look, I've got two of them. And these are made of wood. They're quite big marbles. Around this village, there are various marble runs. And what we're going to do, for a bit of fun, we're going to go and do them all. So as we leave the railway station, give you an idea of the proximity to the railway station, um, there's quite a few. There's at least 10. I'm not actually going to do them in the right order, but we'll start with this one because it's here. Look, here is a marble run. I don't think this is the most successful of them all, but let's just see how we get on with it. It's actually Marble Run 9, but we're, it's going to be Marble Run 1 for now. But let's just have another look at that fantastic view. So, let the fun begin. Now what we can do, anyone watching, if you want to pick a team, you can be blue or green, and what we'll do, we'll see who wins. Um, as I go through the video, I may forget which one's one, so those of you watching may have to um, remember. So, we'll start here, look. Here we have blue and green. And these start off by lifting these. So I'm going to try and be as fair as I can, give them an equal start. Now, this one, as I know, isn't the most successful, so they may not even make it to the end. But let's try and see how we get on. Let's go. And off they go. They get to here, they go down through the spanners. And then it's into this jerry can, and they're coming out. Blue is currently winning. Blue's gone down there, green's gone down there. They're gonna drop down here, ring the cowbells. Oh, well, despite blue being in the lead, green won that one. I don't know if the camera picked it out, blue got stuck there. Green came and won. So that was quite fun. What you can do with this one, there's two ways, because if you look, may have not been so clear, but when you got to here, there was um, a junction. So look, I'll show you. So, oh, they've got stuck. Less than them this way this time. This one doesn't count. And as you can see, they're not rolling fast enough. And green is now stuck. So, perhaps that was just as well. So, that is the first one. We're gonna walk into the village centre now. We'll go and see the next one. There's quite a lot of people. All these people with luggage getting off the train. There are no buses that come up here. The railway really is the only way in and out of Vegan. Well, you could walk, of course. Oh, and there is a cable car, which I went on earlier, and that was great fun. Um, but that's a really long way wound. Wow. If you go up the cable car, which I can show you in just a second, that's the cable car there. That goes up really, really high. If you go up there, you go right up there. You can just see where the wire goes. You can catch another one down to Grindelwald, which I did earlier. So that's also quite fun to do. If we go on to this, there's some folk event going on. So you can hear a load of cowbells ringing on a grand scale. I did film them when they paraded through the village earlier, and it really made quite a fantastic sight. I thought, I wish we could do something like that in the UK, but I don't know if we ever will. So we're just coming now to the next one of these bull runs. I'm not sure which number it's going to be. There's supposedly 10. I'm not sure if they're all the same from the word from the original ones. I think some have come and gone. But here we have one here. Now this one, they've all got different themes. This one is a bit golf themed because probably because it's like sporty areas you see the table tennis table. So what happens with this one? See this. I can put them in here. So it doesn't matter which one I put in first. That's not relevant. So I'm just going to drop green in first drop blue in. They're not going anywhere. I could turn this. They're still not going anywhere because what I have to do, I have to pull this out 
and that has released them and there they go, there go. Blue's currently in the lead, there's a junction. They've both gone the same way. So they've gone down. Blue has won this one. So just to let you have another look at where they went, have a look at the course. So they came down here, blue one, looking up. You can see different pipes. See there was a, a junction here and they both went this way and down there and down to the bottom. Let's go and find the next one. So there's lots of hotels here. It's a very, very touristy place, Vingen is. So we're gonna walk down here because I think between this hotel is a, this hotel's got a rather nice garden and I think they've also got another bull run. Oh, and just see, across the garden, just see the train disappearing. Um, so we're, we're gonna do this one and then I'm probably gonna walk up to the next one because um, the next one's a little bit further away. This hotel here, it's got a nice rose garden. Now, this one, look at this. Let's have a, we'll have a look at it first before we actually do the ball run. This one is very hotel themed. So if you look, that's the end. Going up, see the uh, hotel keys hanging up. Look, I'll step over the hedge. See, look, it has to roll down through the hotel keys. And then also rolls, rolls down through the pots and pans. And this is like a little model of the hotel. So we'll start up here. So this is actually number 10. So if I put a ball here, ball there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I think I'll release, pull this up. It will, you'll see what happens. Pull it up, still not released. The secondary release will set them off. So let's let them go. Green's currently winning. Well, that one was a draw, look. You could, I'm gonna do this one again, because look, green got stuck there, blue got stuck there. Let's do that one again. I want an actual winner, not who's got the furthest. I want who made it to the end. So let's see who can get to the end first. Or, uh, excuse me, green, you're cheating. Green just decided to cheat. Let's try this one again. So here we are, the two marbles. Which one will win? Oh, okay. Uh, blue got stuck. I don't know if this is going to be fair. But we have to call this one a draw. Let's just see how they get on. Let's see if they make it to the end. I think green's now stuck. Will blue make it to the end? Blue's got stuck. Funny, because the one I did first... Where's green gone? There's green. Look, in the pan. Yeah. Oh, come on, green. So the one I did first, the other day, was the least successful. But today, this one seems to be the annoying, not very successful one. Let's try again. Third time lucky. Can they win? Or can they even get to the end, I think? They're, they're going for it. They're both going. Green's currently in the lead. You are only allowed to do this until 10 o'clock, and the noise is probably why. Down through the keys. Green's winning. Blue's catching up. They're both now competing. Green's in the lead. I think Green's going to win. But there's still all to play for. Green's currently winning, and Green hasn't quite won. Green has won. So, there you go. So if you're playing for Green, you've won this one. I'm going to go for a little walk now and we'll go and find the next one. Here we are outside the Tourism Information Centre. If you'd like to take part, this is one of the places you can buy these balls. Now this one, this is number two. It's not the most exciting, but there's sort of two ways. So if you look, there's uh, see the cows, 
there, so it makes their way down through the cows. So what we'll do, um, oh, so you, you start here like this, and we're gonna let them go. Now they could go through here and go down. Let's just see what happens. So if I move the camera to this end, let's see how we get on. And they've both gone down the top. Who's gonna, they're actually scoring numbers, look. Blue has scored a three, green has got stuck. We have to somehow rescue green, look. Green's down there, I'm gonna put my hand in. That's not really fair. Green's got four, but he got stuck, and blue got there first and got three. Let's try one more time, just uh, that's it, I'm gonna give each the outside ones. Let's, let's see how we get on with it this time. Let's see who, which ball can make it to the end. Oh, and they've both gone down in the middle. Well, so, blue has scored three, green has scored four. So remember that if you're playing along. There was a couple of other residents of the village who I thought I would introduce you to because we've got to walk right past their house. This is their back garden, just here. So as you know the names, one of them's out in the garden, the other one's relaxing at home. Here we are, two rabbits, look. Rabbit in there, and there's another rabbit in the hutch. Now the next ball is, there's some children playing it, so I'll wait for them to finish, or I may go away and come back to this one. But that's the next one, that, that one's quite an exciting one, right by the cable car, so we'll go over there. Actually, are they going? Yeah, I think they're going. Um, so let's just see if we can get over to that one and um, have fun with that one. Although, yeah, let's, uh, if you look at this one, this one really is quite an exciting one. It's a bit more sort of skiing. Themed. So you've got this last bit at the end, rolls down onto a target, and then you've got a section here, look at that, quite exciting, and right up here, and you've got, see the skis, skis is the edge, you've got a snowboard, piece of wood, more cows with little cowbells, let's do this one. What I'm going to do, I'm going to play this one. You start by going like that. Oh, hello. Um, you start by going like that. I think there's some other people waiting, so I'll have to cut this and we'll come back in a minute. So, with a snow capped mountain in the distance, which seems to disappear the moment I put the, my face and camera on it, it's just an annoying trick of the camera. My two marbles are waiting to be released to go off down the next section, so I'm going to lift this and this will release them and let's see who wins. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Blue's gone this way and green has got stuck. And blue is divering. We're gonna have to do this one again because green got stuck. But let's just watch what happens. So blue goes off down there and round there. down the final section. Just making sure no one steals green. They're doing this one again. So it can be a little bit annoying. They don't always work, but it's still great fun. Rings a cowbell. Got blue again. Let's go and get green. Let's hope we can be more successful this time. It's really great fun though. I wish we had things like this in the UK. Yeah, no, oh, I see, look, if you just look here, there's like a junction thing. I'm gonna try and make this as fair as possible. I'm gonna put that bang in the middle now what will happen is probably whichever one gets there first will hit it so we should have it that each ball goes a separate way so i'm going to release them in a minute by doing that green and blue waiting to go who's going to win watch it from this side this time see how it goes so let's release Off they go. i don't believe it green's stuck again green is stuck up there Catching blue. Let's try again. Third time lucky. Really? Right, third time lucky. Who's going to win? Green or blue? Blue's got stuck this time. Green is. If it had been green that got stuck, I'd have just qualified green and declared blue the winner. But green is going for it this time. Look at that. 
green is really going for it. But I can't really declare green the winner. We're going to do it one more time to make it as fair as we can, and then we shall um, we shall see what happens. So I'm um, just wait for these people to finish their go, and then I'll do mine. So we'll put the two balls here. There's someone else having rolling their ball down. So just wait for them to get to the bottom, and then final chance. We're going to try one more time. We've got I've got a volunteer to help me. This is Bryce, and he's and his. You his sister? Yeah. Yeah, and Bryce's sister. We have an extra competitor for this one. We have Red. Bryce is going to do the honours of letting them go. So who is going to win? Go on, Bryce. Go um, for I it. I think Red. Here we go. Here they go. My blue has got stuck again. I think blue's disqualified from this. But they're coming. Look, blue might actually make up. Uh, Bryce's sister let blue go. Green's getting stuck. It's quite funny now I've got an extra one. Look at blue dithering around there. And green's well on the way to being the winner. There's red, our honorary member for this one. There goes red. And there's blue. There goes blue. We'll run down to the end. Let's see who makes it to the end. Green has got there, red's got there. And here comes blue. Thanks for your help, Bryce. Cheers. So here we are, further down the main street in Wengen. We're going to do... There's one there, but there's one here. This one is a bit smaller, so what we'll do, we'll do this one first, and then we'll do the other one. So this is number five. It's a bit of a basic one, but still, still good fun. Again, we have a thing to release them. So if I put blue here, yep, blue and green. Who's going to win? Let's go. Blue has got stuck. Green is making its way down. And I think green is going to win this one. Should we do it one more time? Let's try again. What we'll do this time, I'm going to do... If I can get the thing... Each, each end. Um, right, let's, let's try. Uh, I think they're going to make it. They're both making it. Blue is in the lead. Who's going to make it there first? Okay, blue got stuck this time. No, sorry, blue won this time. Green got stuck. Uh, let's go to the one across the road and we'll see who wins on that one. So the one across the road is just over here with the mountains looming above us. I never tire of the way the mountains loom above us here. Let's see who can be next. So we go into this little park and this is number four. This is the one that caught my eye. I was going out for a walk. And I was just like, what on earth is that? It's a very elaborate looking fence and I discovered exactly what it was. So we've got to climb right up to the top of the hill to do this one. Here we are. Top of the hill and I think I've just got to literally drop them down. So, let the challenge begin. Let's have a look. So it's down all of that, down the sort of pipe, rolls about a bit. There's some interesting spiral staircases. I'm just going to drop them. Uh, let's try and get at the same time. Right, go. And green's currently in the lead, but green has got stuck. Blue is just not green out of the way. They're both going down here now. So if we go to here, we'll see them both come out. Blue is currently winning. Green following short behind. Oh, look, they roll right up there. Almost rang the bell. They go down here. They're both going to have to ring this next bell, look. There they go, very close. And then they get to here. And look at this. They go down there. Blue might not win this one because there's a chance green could overtake here. And there's two different ways. Oh, green's gone off the edge. And blue, right, I'm declaring blue the winner of that one because blue's ended there. Green has gone into the grass. So blue's the winner of that one. Let's go and find another one. There I am now, walked up a bit from that one. Look at this one. It's kind of like on the side of a house. Again, quite interesting. There's a, a zigzag to go down. Oh, look, there's a 
at the junction there, it disappears into oblivion. It must come out the bottom. Let's go to the very top. Let's see what we got. Got someone's left an umbrella there. Um, got three drop zones. So I'll probably do the outer drop zones, and then we'll see how we get on. I'm gonna send them down there. Of a helper again because I'm kind of like that. I'm going to try and get them into each one at the same time. As we know, going first doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get there first. Uh, I think green might have gone slightly ahead. Green's currently in the lead, but blue may still. Blue is competing hard. Who's going to make it? Blue, see, blue's overtaken, even though I think green slightly went ahead. But it's, look, green is really competitive. Blue has got stuck. Green is the winner. As for blue, stuck there. I just want to see what happens. There's, um, there's this hole here. Where does that go? I'm going to drop them both down there. This, isn't, this is just like an extra. It doesn't count. Okay, they're making a lot of noise. Oh, I see. They come out down there. Right, let's go and see which ones we can find next. We've seen a few cowbells set off by these marbles, but there's some actual cows and cowbells. It's starting to get dark now, but we can still just finish this. We're now at the top end of the village. So the village centre is just down there across this field. And I think, I'm not sure this building is, but it's some kind of local sort of maintenance building. And there's one here, and then there's a hotel around the corner. There's one more there. So look, we have, this one's very sort of pipe themed. It's almost like sewer pipes. And you've got the caps of the sewer pipes. You've got a junction, you know, where you get like three different houses, all of their sewers join. Um, never thought I'd be doing a video, I'd send things down a sewer. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go with these two just because it doesn't seem to matter whether it's which order and let's just see who gets first. So I've got green and blue. Let's go. Blue, I think he's winning. Blue's winning. Green. Yeah, blue definitely won that one. It's nice to have one that actually behaved and worked. Now the final one is just around the corner here at this hotel. So I'm gonna walk back past the cows again. It's really, I really like the sound of cowbells. Such a nice sound. And then there's a big hotel here, and in this hotel's front garden is the final one of our bull run. So there's ten of them. We haven't necessarily done them in the right order. I think others have come and gone since this started. This is what the trail's called. In German, of course. Barn. So technically, barn is railway. It's te or way. Technically, it's a form of railway. So hence part of my interest. Look at this. So this one, I don't think it once went further, because there's like a house that it could go through. But you've got that's like the roof and then it looks like do they roll on oh i see now look there's the this wood stacked here and they disappear into the wood I've seen quite a few of these before and then there's quite a cool tower where they start off i don't know how i can do it really first or second with this one i'm just gonna i might do an experiment but shall i drop it so i'll drop it so blue goes one way green no it's just sending i'm i'm just gonna send blue ahead doesn't mean anything it's only a bit fun let's just watch them go down i don't think we're really going to class this one as a winning one we're just just fun Now we've got a run down here. They both should come out here. Hope they don't get, hope they don't get stuck in there. Oh, there's blue, there's green. This is where green might just get ahead. Unlikely, but never know. We're finished. I think that was pretty much a draw. Quite, quite worn out now after charging around the village with these marbles. I did at one of them I came to and I saw two people and they said, how'd you do it? Because they didn't have any Ds. I was nearly tempted to say to them, sorry, you just don't have the balls to do this challenge, but I didn't. 
that I thought was quite funny. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And from the village of Vengen and the sound of cowbells high up here in the mountains of Switzerland, it's a fantastic place. Um, you'll see various other videos I've made whilst on this trip of railways and everything. So thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Goodbye.